Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and today we're going to look at the difference between poor John and John is poor. Yeah, this is actually quite common. Uh, a lot of times students, they'll misplace the word poor, and if you misplace the word poor in a sentence, you make a big difference. The sentence could mean something totally different. So, let's look at the first note. Uh, if you put the word poor before a person or a subject's name, it means unfortunate and you are showing sympathy for them. You know, poor Steve, poor Mike, poor Mary, that poor animal, like you feel so sorry for them. Uh, if the word poor comes after the subject, it means having little, uh, having uh, no money or very little money. Uh, yeah, so this is very obvious. So this is a, uh, so here's where the mistakes could come in. So let's look at the first example. The dog is poor. Uh, it only has three legs. Now, this is an obvious mistake here. Um, um, if you say the dog's poor, it means the dog has no money, which is kind of almost laughable. Uh, we don't expect dogs to have money. Uh, uh, you know, either the dog is wild, or it's a stray dog, or it has a master that takes care of it. It doesn't usually have money on its own. So, it kind of almost even sounds funny. So, somebody might even laugh if you make this mistake. Uh, of course, the correct way to say that would be that poor dog, you know, that unfortunate dog. That poor dog only has three legs. Oh, that poor dog. Uh, yeah, a lot of times you would say it that way. Um, okay, let's look at um, another example that shows this. That woman is poor. Her baby was born with a serious birth defect. Uh, yeah, so here again, if you say the woman is poor, it means the woman has little or no money. Uh, that's not what you actually meant. You were trying to say that she's in a very unfortunate situation. Um, so she may not be poor at all. She may actually have money. So you don't want to say that. So the correct way would be to say uh, that poor woman's baby was born with a serious birth defect. Of course here, anytime I have X next to it, it means it's wrong. The check means it's correct. Uh, okay, so getting back to the original title with poor John then. Here's uh, examples we can use with poor John. Poor John just broke up with his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, maybe you feel, yeah, maybe he's depressed. Oh, poor John, he's been so unhappy recently. Uh, so, again, you're showing sympathy for him. So you have poor before the name or before the subject means unhappy, showing sympathy. Uh, here's uh, the second example. Uh, maybe this is the reason uh, the girl broke up with him. Uh, John is too poor. He is not marriage material. So here if you say John is too poor, means he doesn't have enough money. He um, doesn't make enough income. Uh, he is not marriage material. Remember, if we say somebody is a material, it means that they're suitable for a certain job or position or situation. So you might often hear, you know, husband material, wife material, marriage material. Uh, presidential material. So it means that the person has suitable qualities with his job or position or situation. So, uh, again, I, I hope this clarifies it. Uh, it is actually a pretty common mistake. So be careful where you put the position of the word poor in the sentence. Make sure you're using it correctly. If poor comes before somebody's name or comes before the subject, uh, it means they are unfortunate. You're showing sympathy for them. If poor comes later in the sentence, if we say somebody is poor, means, uh, again, they don't have a lot of money or they have very little money. Okay. Uh, I hope that clarifies it. Thank you for your time.